Hello, this is Adriana from Saskatoon Public Library, and today I'm showing you our take and make. But before we get started, I'm first going to remove my mask, since I'm alone in this room, so you can understand me just a bit better. And today we're going to be reading a story and doing a craft all around kindness for International Kindness Days. What does kindness mean to you? What does it look like when we are kind? And how does it feel when others are kind to you? And to get started, I'm going to share a book with you by Canadian author Monique Gray-Smith. And this is called When We Are Kind. And this is also illustrated by Nicole Neidhart. I am kind when I help my family. What are ways that we could help our family out? Hmm. I am kind when I share with my friends. Oh look, it looks like they're sharing crayons together. It's always very important to share. I am kind when I take my dog for an extra long walk. You know, I know my dog really appreciates it when she gets an extra long walk. Or if we take her to water, she loves to swim. I am kind when I help my neighbor. I am kind when I bring food to my elders. I am kind when I only take from the earth what I need. I think it's really important to show kindness to the earth too. I think that benefits all of us. I am kind when I take care of myself and get a good night of sleep. You know, it is very important to be kind to yourself too. What are other ways that we can do that? Getting sleep is important. Maybe eating right or getting exercise or running around and doing things you enjoy. I feel joy when my family and I are kind. How do you feel when others are kind to you? I feel happy when my friend is kind to me. Well, look how well they're playing with one another. It does look like they're having a good time. I feel comforted when my cat is kind to me. I feel loved when my elders are kind to me. I feel grateful when the earth is kind to me. Well, look at that. The earth provides us with so much. I feel respectful when I am kind to myself. When we are kind, we remember that we are all related. I think that's an important thing to remember. And that's the end of When We Are Kind by Monique Gray Smith. And speaking of kind, we're going to do a bit of reflection about what that looks like and do a craft that shows that. Now we're going to work on a craft all about kindness. So if you have one, grab your take and make bag or any paper you might have laying around the house and we'll do a little craft all about kindness. So here we have a finished version of what your craft will look like. Looks like a kindness flower. So in every kit, you should find a glue stick, some crayons, as well as a CD and a paper that has some traced out petals. What are things that you've done that showed kindness? What are ways that people have been kind to you? And you can either write that out or just draw a picture of that action on your petal. And this says, sweep the floor. And we have a lovely picture of a broom. Sweeping the floor is a really kind way to help out. And you'll put a bit of glue on your petal. 
and glue that to your CD. And there you have your International Kindness Day craft. And thank you for joining us today for our International Kindness Day Take and Make. I hope that you've got a finished craft that you enjoy and feel free to bring it with you into the library sometime and show us. And with that, we're going to say goodbye today with a wave goodbye and we'll sing together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye.